Negative B over 2A to help us find the vertex. So negative B would be negative negative 2. Positive 2, that never works. All right. Okay, so we got 2 over 2 times 1. 2 over 2 is 1. So that is going to be the x coordinate of the vertex. Find the y coordinate to go with it. We're going to plug 1 in. So we get 1 minus 2 is negative 1, minus 7, negative 8. We're going to plug in a couple numbers close to the vertex. 2 is 4 minus 4 minus 7, 3 is 9 minus 6, 3 minus 7. So this one is starting very low, so I'm going to put my x-axis way up here. Four, five, six. There's the vertex. You guys remember yesterday, what's the axis of symmetry? It would be x equals 1, which shares the x coordinate with the vertex. <laughs> okay, do you guys remember, shh, listen, do you remember how to find the x intercepts? Zero for y. And you could do factoring or quadratic formula. You might have to do quadratic formula. Does this one factor? Yeah, this one doesn't factor. So you'd have to do quadratic formula. That means it'll be like a really messy decimal. All right. But you only have, I said you only had to do that on like 2a. All right, 11. Now we're moving. Y equals 4 x squared minus 8 of J is 2. Hmm? I need another graph paper. Oh, yeah. Just use the map. I ran out of space. Use the map. I already did. Uh, 
Um, this one's going to be quite different than the others. By looking at this, you guys know what's going to be different about this graph? It's going to be very tall. So if we're starting at negative 2, it's going to go way up there. 4 is very fast. I'm not sure we're going to be able to fit all 5 points on there. So if I plug in 2, let's see how tall it is already. That would be 16 minus 16 plus 2. Oh, no, not too bad. Maybe we'll be able to fit it. But it goes up exponentially fast, though, so let's see what happens. 3 is... 9 times 4 is 36 minus 24 is 12 plus 2 is 14. Yeah. Pretty tall. Oh my goodness. You could count by twos, yeah, probably better. Are you going to tell me this because I don't know how to do it. You should count by two. I know, I know. It's the easiest thing, but I can't. You see, you should brush your hands. Right, get out of here. <laughs> Like you brushed it today. I hate that. You should actually brush it. I'm joking, guys. Nearly. Okay, um, so if we're counting by twos, you have to go half a step to go to one. Like that's two right there, so one's right there. So one negative two would be right there. If you're counting by twos, one is only half a step. Two two is right there. Fourteen is up here. Whoops. Careful with the mirror image. I just started reflecting over the wires. Wait, do we need to make the y symmetry thing? No. Yeah. I'm just drawing it because that's the line you reflect over, so make sure you don't use the y axis. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try to loop them back again. Okay, close enough. You can still count by ones. It'd just be very tall. All right, 13, uh -oh, 1 half x squared plus 4 x plus 8. So this one will be the opposite. This will go up slowly. So negative b over 2a, negative 4 over 1, negative 4. So Text is at negative 4, 15, 8 minus 16, 8, 0. I'm also going to plug in negative 3 and negative 2. <coughs> uh oh, this is a fraction. And that'd be 4 and a half minus 2. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll plug in uh, negative 2 and 0 because that way I don't have to worry about fractions doing it in my head. So if I plug in negative 2, that will be 4, 2, minus 8. Okay, I guess it's a problem. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, 0 is just 8. So because I am getting kind of far away from the vertex, it is starting to climb, even though we're going up slower than normal. Negative four, zero. Negative two, two. Yeah, it's going up slowly, but because I'm choosing numbers far away,
Lisa, it's quite good. <laughs> All right. Uh, 15, last section. Almost there, folks. Why did you stay in the Can you go back? Oh, 16 is written in, and 18 are written in vertex form. <laughs> 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 Once you get the numbers written down, Lisa, you don't really need to look at the picture. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> you know how to graph points. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, but, but <laughs> I don't want to. It's easier, it's easier to use the numbers because you don't have to count on my graph. No, you graph within a perspective. Anyways, number 15, 4x squared minus 16. Uh, I think I might do one of the evens because 16 and 18 are written in vertex form. This is kind of how they wanted us to do the second section. Two negative one, there's the vertex. Three, three is right there. I'm putting my twos. Show them coming by two. Go for either. Okay. stepped on that. Okay. 
Let's yeah. see if you guys know. We did some of this last year. Let's see if you guys know. What's this plus three going to do to the graph? Left. Left three. When it's directly on the x, it affects the x, no doubt. Remember that? Left three, what's this going to do to the graph? Up 12. So the vertex is at negative three, 12. I'm not using the negative b over 2a because it's not in the standard form. You could FOIL it out, simplify it, and change it to standard form. That would just be a lot of work. This is called vertex form. This is what they wanted us to do. It just takes a lot of, kind of a lot of work to get it in this mode, so I didn't do it. But if it is already in that mode, that's how you do it. So I'm still going to do the same thing with the other couple points. intercepts really easy. It's positive 7 over 2 and positive 1 half. But that doesn't tell you the vertex. So I'm going to go ahead and foil this together. Yeah. 
going to need a combo to think. Exactly. Carries the entire school. All right, you guys good? Uh -huh. Shut up, shut up. 